Well, do you like 3D but hate wearing those glasses? Researchers at Sheridan College are partnering with a Toronto firm called Spatial View to develop the next generation of 3D content. It could open the door to video games, display ads, and even TV sets that don't require those glasses. Mike Wise is at the iDesk with more on this. I had a look at this technology today. No glasses required at Sheridan College in Oakville, where researchers designed a special video game to showcase these made in Ontario technologies during a special pavilion at the Winter Olympics. And who has the... Ah, I got it. Okay. You can't tell from our TV camera, but this interactive puzzle game appears to me in full yeah. 3D. The aim is to use a BlackBerry controller to assemble 3D puzzles of various tourist attractions in Ontario. The gameplay is simple enough, but putting the game together was anything but. Uh, we're basically pioneering the content for it, so... Uh, we were provided a software development kit by Spatial View, but it was up to us to create the content and make sure it worked and made sure it looked 3D. Once you got the hang of it, it's pretty good. Uh... It takes a lot of programming know-how to render images in 3D in real time, right. but tricking the eye into seeing that 3D falls back to an old trick you can find in a dollar store. The plastic overlay on this notebook has tiny prisms that split the picture of this dog into two slightly differing images. Each eye perceives a separate image, and then uh, naturally brain processing a two different images and then uh, uh, calculate a 3D perspective. The TV set, designed by Toronto's Spatial View Technologies, has a similar overlay. As we move our camera, you can see the two slightly different pictures. Stand in the right spot in the room, and those images combine in 3D, no glasses required. And these Sheridan College researchers see a lot of applications for this, especially in point-of-sale advertising or trade shows. If you want to see that demo in action, and could make it out to Vancouver, uh, Sheridan is hoping to showcase this around the province this summer, possibly even at Ontario Place later this year. Aaron? So does that mean you have to sit in the exact same spot or else you're not going to, you know? They call it a bit of a sweet spot, and, uh, you know, it, it's too close and it would get it kind of blurry, but there was a comfort zone where you could sit, shift mm. a little bit, it might shift a bit, but I uh, know it's pretty realistic. Cool. All right, thanks, Mike.